Okay, here we are with Elvin Hayes, uh, the Big E basketball player out of the University of Houston, plays for the Rockets, plays for the Bulls, wins the championship, plays along with Wes Onslow. Elvin, how are you today? I'm terrific. Doing great. Beautiful place down here at the Baltimore Convention with all these great athletes out here, isn't it? Hey, it, it is really amazing because when I first came to Baltimore in 1972, we played in the old Civic Center, and it wasn't nothing like this. And, and the Inner Harbor and the way Baltimore have built itself up, it, it's just a great city. Always have been, and I enjoyed playing here when my first two, two years up here, and then we moved over to College Park for one year, and then came to Capitol Bullets, and then we went over to Landover and came to Washington Bullets. <laughs> you played a good to Lou Alcender at the time in the Houston Astrodome, upset yeah. victory. You yeah. knock them off by two points, a big losing, yeah. a winning streak that they have. You knock them off. Yeah. What was the atmosphere like to play in the Houston Astrodome? First time a college basketball game was played in something in that type of environment. I tell you, it was one of the most <laughs> frightening and one of the most exciting you know, events that ever had I had that I ever was a part of because you know before the game everybody was wondering will anybody be out there? Then all of a sudden those big green doors open and there's 55,000 people out there and you go out there and you play one of the greatest teams in college basketball, 47 game winning streak going for them, and we go out there and we beat them and it's just pandemonium. It's just amazement. It's just the excitement and the enthusiasm that is going on among our team and all our fans. And, and for basketball, because that game propelled basketball that it could be a marketable sport. I always say we have four teams, we have three teams now in the state of Texas, and all three of them have won NBA championship. And it was all due having those teams in, in Texas now because of that UCLA Houston basketball. You're game. talking about San Antonio, the Houston Rockets, and the Dallas yeah, Mavericks there. Mavericks, yeah. uh, I want to know, uh, Elvin, that. And when you played with Wes Onsold and you won a championship in the yeah. NBA, uh, Wes was your guy. Also, uh, Bobby Dangerous being on that team. And uh, I think you played, did you play with the Pearl at the time? No, I didn't play, didn't play with the Pearl. Pearl was a year before, before I got here. Right. But uh, Bobby Dangerous won a championship you with bet. the Bucks you before bet. he won with you. Yeah, you bet. Uh, how special was that championship for you? Because I know you were that looking for one in the first my, way. We had gone in 75 and we lost four in a row to Golden State. And wow, Wes had gone before that and they had lost to Bobby Dandridge and them in that Milwaukee. Walker series and so it was one of those things that we both had experience we had you know 0 and 4 records and we put together 8 0 and 8 but then all of a sudden to come back and to have Bobby Dandridge to be here to have also the one of the players off that Golden State team Charles Johnson to to had who, who was a big part of that Golden State team beat us but yeah Phil Phil Chenier was on our team but to have that team come back in 78 and win that championship you know, against the Seattle Supersonics, well, wow, it just really sealed all of our careers, I believe. Uh, to me, I would say uh, what a great money player that you are and winning a championship. Uh, what Between that championship and the college upset against UCLA, my question to you is which one was more fulfilling for you, the most fulfilling? I think that the NBA championship because it's like that cherry on the top of your career. But I think that for that UCLA game, because I came out of Louisiana, here's a kid that name had never been in the paper in Louisiana. We won the state championship over there, and then all of a sudden you come to U University of Houston, and all of a sudden you put in one of the biggest games of the century. And, and no matter where I travel in the world, people say, wow, I was at that UCLA game. I was there. And to propel my career, it it shaped and formed and made, created the Elvin Hayes that won that NBA championship. So I think both games was was had a magnificent uh, played a magnificent was part of my life. And but I think that the UCLA Houston game because it was the beginning, and I think the the championship game was the was the foundation was built upon to really put me in the Hall of Fame to say Elvin Hayes, you were one of the greatest basketball players. Last question for you, Elvin. Who's your favorite athlete of all time? Uh, I would say Bill Russell. <laughs> okay. Russell won 11 out of 13 years at Player Cage in 69 and won a championship. Yeah, I see it. Dr. J, yeah. number six, took it from yeah. Bill Russell. Yeah. Uh, I've got to ask you that question now. I just forgot about it. How great was the doctor, would you say? Julius was just a tremendous player. He was one of those players you said, you hope ne that occasion never happened, that he would come and get you one in one on one situation coming at you. And one un, 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 uh, dreaming about it and thinking about it and never hoping it happened, well, it happened to me. 
and he came after me, and I was standing there, and, man, he dunked on me. When he dunked on me, everybody in the Capitol Center was ducking their head and hiding their head because they, was in, they could not believe it. But one of those things, nightmares you hope never came true, well, it came true against me. Julius was great. Thank you, Alvin. It's a pleasure to have this interview. Thank you so much.